Hello and welcome to Paper Crafting Plate 8. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is April 6, 2024, and this is episode 117 of Paper Crafting Play Date. And today we are going to tackle double gatefold cards, and we actually are going to make four cards together, and so we're going to get right to it. So let me move us to the table. Thank you so much for joining me live, live or watching this on the replay. I appreciate your comments. So please leave me a comment. Let me, let me know what you think about the projects. And if you're here live, chat with your friends, please. Um, I enjoy watching your conversation. And I will take the time to say hi in a little bit. But like I said, we're going to do four projects today. So um, I don't want to dilly-dally if that's still a word. So thank you for also changing times with me. Uh, we're having a little um, house remodeling done and it is happening right next to my stamp room, which is in the second floor of our home. And so um, I, you know, during the day is when workers work. So I'm trying to be flexible this month. And so I have two live scheduled play dates. I posted the information, um, not only in my newsletter, but on, on YouTube and on Facebook. So you'll have the exact date and times that I am in central time. So um, you'll have to do those, those difficult time zone calculations yourself, because I'm not very good at that. <laughs> um, but that's where we are. Say hello, everyone. And let me um, back up and tell you, so I shared this card a few weeks ago. One of the things I asked in a January play date was, what were some things that you were hoping to maybe learn about or what, what would you like to get better at? Um, mostly I was talking about cards, but um, I love the things that you shared for your 2024 goals and things you'd like to learn. But um, I love the requests because that helps me come up with content ideas. So this is from um, Jerry, and she is in my um, demonstrator group, the Butterfly Friends. And she sent me this card with this little note that said, please do a video on how to make belly bands. Uh, mine aren't so good. <laughs> Sorry. Which um, I replied in my video, hers is absolutely fine because the most important thing about a belly band is that it will slide um, on and off easily, but yet you can't shake it off um, when your card is, it has to fit just right. So we're gonna also do some Belly Band 101 today, but hers um, would actually qualify, I haven't made this fun fold before, but it would qualify for a um, gatefold card. Okay, so let's start with gatefold cards. I have a lot of brand new stampers watching, and so I just like to kind of revisit every once in a while the basics um, of terminology for card making. And so most of the time you'll see me use eight and a half by 11 paper to make cards, and basic cards can either be cut um, on the eight and a half side at four and a quarter, and you get two cards that I like to call panel cards that they can open, you know, in either direction, however you want to create on them. Or you can cut your cardstock along the 11 inch side at five and a half. And then you have two cards that are very standard. Okay, so these are the both, both the same size. You can just cut your cardstock. Anything other than this um, that is folded differently is a fun fold. And so I think sometimes the term fun fold, fancy fold, all those things get kind of confusing when you're brand new, you're trying to figure out what you're doing. So we are doing a fun fold and it is called a gate fold because it opens like a gate and it opens from the center of the card front, okay? We're actually doing a double gate fold today, but this is your basic gate fold. So I just wanna start with a basic gate fold and show you some new products. So we're at the end of a catalog. I'm gonna stand up, my chair is squeaky. Um, we're at the end of a catalog and this brand new catalog is gonna start May 1st. And so I have a lot of new products um, that I was able to pre-order that I'm gonna share with our double gatefolds today. And the first of those 
is going to be these new um, pre-made cards and envelope sets. There's two of them in the new catalog. This one's called Sunny Springs, and this one's called Calming Creek. And there's just five very different cards. I mean, they're different from each other, not like weird um, different. And then look at how the envelopes match in this really lighter version of the pattern. It's so pretty. The same for these. One, two, three, four, five. And then here's the envelopes. Okay, very fun. Uh, oh yeah, and the insides are like the card, but opposite. Ah, see, I didn't even realize that. The pattern is like opposite. It's almost like you can see through the pattern on the envelopes. That's really cool. So let's make a gatefold. This is just fun when you when you buy pre-made cards to be able to do different things with them. So I'm going to take one of the pre-made cards and I'm going to make a gatefold out of it. Even though it's already scored um, because it comes, you know, pre-scored, that's okay. Just don't bend it and we're going to cover it up the inside, and so we're gonna make this into a gatefold. So this is a basic gatefold, not the double gatefold. We're just starting from scratch here. So I'm going to make a score line right in the middle of the card front, and since the card front is four and a quarter, the middle is two and one eighth. Okay. So when I do a gatefold, there's a basic gatefold, I like to um, only score one side, and then bend the other side to meet it because I don't know what it is with scoring. I mean, even if you're just a tiny bit off of your measurement, you get a crack. They don't quite meet or they overlap. So this is the easiest way to do that. Isn't this a fun um, design? I'm actually making this card for um, one of my sons because he just got a job. Okay, so we're gonna just create a belly band and then a focal point. So um, the way that we just kind of take care of that pre-made score line in there is we're just gonna put a piece of cardstock in there that's four by five and a fourth. Okay, and then we're gonna have a little focal point and a belly band, super simple. So let's pick out our pieces and let's use the new ephemera packs. I have to show you, I think this is one of the most exciting things. Um, it's gonna be fun to play with. So in the package, you get two sheets of four different designs. This one's called Labels and Layers. I just wanna show you real quickly. We'll, we'll be looking at these over and over again. So there's four different sheets of designs and you get two of each. I'm actually gonna pick this one because I love this little file folder match with this card and then there's a package of flowers called fully flowering I love that there's just like black and white ones you could color or leave black and white all different love that I think I want to just take this little leaf because it looks like that could be fun I can't wait to get like an extra package of these and just um, like s sort some of them by color or maybe occasion. Um, this is called something for everyone. This, and it literally just has a little bit of, of everything. So my son just got a job with AmeriCorps and he's gonna be in the forestry um, side of things. He wants to learn about forestry engineering. Look at this fish, I think. So I'm, I'm trying to just pick out little things. Um, this is like a congratulations on your job. And do we need this little feather? Maybe we need that feather. How great are these for our focal point clusters that we like to make? Okay, the last package is called saying something 
Hi, Lisa. Welcome to your first live. All right, so there's all greetings in this one. Some scripty greetings. So let's, I wanted to just pick out some of these that would be like, way to go. This one, because it matches this green. Heck yeah. I'm so proud of you. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, let's put these elements together on this cute little file folder. So, Thank you, Sherry. I'm very excited for him too. He, they just moved um, to Colorado in December. And so it's been a little bit, it's, but he's had a hard time um, finding exactly what he wants to do. I feel like we need one more, one more thing. I really want to put this, um, this mountain scene on here, but I think it's too big. This one right here doesn't really go with my colors. Look at the coffee cups. How fun is that? I wish he would be riding horses. I'd love to put that on there, but I don't think that's the case. Let's do another leaf. I think that will be better. I'm going to take one of these bright green ones. I'm just making this card up here because I thought, well, I'm not going to pick these out ahead of, ahead of time just so you can see how easy they are to just kind of play with. Okay, so we'll just put these aside here. Okay, let's get this layered together. And then we'll, we'll I'll show you the belly band basics. Deborah is from Denver, Colorado. They are in um, Fort Collins. up the fish okay I side note side side angle here this was the best thing that I learned um, when I went to the demonstrator um, event last month called on stage and it was amazing I brought home so many goodies and lovely wonderful things but my friend that I hung out with her name's Jill Nolan you'll have to go look um, up her video. She makes amazing cards. Um, it's called Jilly Bling on YouTube and Facebook. I was helping her with their swaps and I was like, she said to put these things on with dimensionals. And I was like, what, what's wrong with these dimensionals? And she's like, you don't know how to, you don't know to do that. I was like, but obviously. <laughs> um, and so what she's done is, um, you guys probably know this, but this is literally the best thing I've learned in a long time. She takes packing tape she'll just lay out like three, you know, a whole package of dimensionals um, and then roll the packing tape across them all in two strips. You can kind of see where it overlaps right there and then just cuts between them. And what it does is it picks up all the tops so you can just like peel this back and use your dimensionals and then cover it back up and you don't have any of those papers loose. Did you guys know this? Am I the only one? Okay, we're just gonna make this cute little collage here and get busy with our, oh, I was gonna do this one too. Let's just stick that right there. 
is kind of fun. Okay, that looks wild lifey, right? Okay, so to make the belly band, you wanna make sure um, when you are making the belly band that you have all the layers on, on your, um, if you're layering the gate, the, the gatefold pieces or whatever, have all your layers on there before you create the belly band so that the thickness is established, okay? And then um, for a belly band that goes around um, the smaller side of a standard card, which is four and a quarter across, you really need a strip that is um, nine to 10 inches. Nine inches is going to overlap only by, I don't know if you can see that, it's gonna overlap about three eighths of an inch. And so it, it is a little tight, especially if you have a lot of layers on there. So it's really easy if you just trim um, a strip to 10 inches and then you've got a good like inch and almost an inch and a half that overlaps. So you've got a, a lot of wiggle room there, okay? And I don't, um, this is my method for making belly bands. It seems to work pretty well. I don't score them um, ahead of time because the score lines just never seem to work out because it really depends on the thickness of your card. And so what I like to do is always make sure the ends of my belly band are overlapping on the front of the card where you're going to attach something so that you don't see that. When you on the back, it'll just be, you know, um, you won't see the, the ends basically, basically. So in order to kind of get that perfectly, just, um, start with one end overlapping the middle of the card by about a quarter to a half an inch, and then create the first fold, just gently fold it and then take it off the card and line it up because it won't be perfectly straight when you just bend it yourself and make the crease, okay? Basically, you wanna go on and off the card several times. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that back loosely, but loosely but snug, is that? I wanna hold it securely, but I don't want it to necessarily be super tight. And then I'm gonna take the, the other side and just bend it over like that. I'm gonna give it just a little press, take it off, Line it up to make sure it's straight. And then press that back out. Okay, now don't glue it now. Okay, you wanna glue it when it's on your card because you wanna have a little bit of, of, of give there um, to make sure that it you'll be able to get it on and off. I've, I've done it before where I've, I've done the measuring and then I glue it on here and then it, it is tight. <laughs> So do it this way. Okay, so this is where your ends are gonna overlap about an inch. You can just decide where you want the end that's showing. I usually like to pick the one that's closest to the center and you just straighten that up. And then I put glue or strong adhesive on both of the ends. That is belly band 101. Belly bands can be any width. It just kind of depends on what you want. An inch is usually um, pretty good or an inch and a half. You don't want it to take up too much of your card unless your entire card is, you know, very plain. Um, like this one, we could have done a thicker one, but it's, it's not really necessary. And so, like I said, if you can slide it on and off easily, but it doesn't fall, when you shake it, that's that's what you're going for. So now let's glue this little focal point we created. This turned out a lot cuter than I thought it was going to. Okay, I'm gonna make the file folder straight with my, or perpendicular with my um, belly band and then everything else will be a little wonky. I like it. How exciting. Okay, one card done. This is just our a gatefold card, okay? It's just a, a gatefold. 
Now we're gonna dive into our double gate folds, but let me just share. So this was a card we got to make at on stage. They just, um, Stampin' Up! put out at lunch all of that ephemera and the cards that I just um, shared with you. We got to just pick and put a card together. So that was the one I created at on stage. And then here are the new in colors. So this is Shy Shamrock, it was one of the new in colors. And so I decided I was gonna make some of these cards. with all the in colors, okay? Look how fun that is. So many new fun things coming in that catalog. So hopefully you've been watching some other demonstrators too, so you've seen some of the new products, but um, here are the six by six in color papers. So this card is made out of Summer Splash. Then there's Petunia Pop, Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, and then the Shy Shamrock. And these designs are some of my favorite on this paper. Look, stripes and dots, I love stripes and dots. You can just put them on anything. And then there's these beautiful, like, um, kind of distressed images. These are gonna be so much fun to play with. Okay, so that is a still just a gatefold card. And then I wanted to show you one more. Um, this is using the Memories and More kit. And so I did the same thing where I didn't fold on that score line that comes with these pre-made cards. And this is so perfect to make a gatefold out of these pre-made cards because you can stick, um, you know, the Memories and More inserts fit inside perfectly. And then I put another one on the front and I just cut it in half and then made a belly band and used one of the cards um, that came, well, I'll actually used two of them and layered them together. This one's for my daughter. She just did some hard stuff in her life, and so that's for her. Okay, that's our starting place is a gatefold, and now we're gonna go into double. So what's a double? A double gatefold has two gates. Does that, does that make sense? <laughs> That's pretty obvious. So we're gonna start with what I'm just calling a basic double gatefold. And we'll leave this up here. So you can see the dimensions. Here's my pattern. So um, go ahead and make one. This is just out of copy paper and then I can tuck it with my directions, so there's a there's a little, as always going to be a PDF to go along with this video. So if you kind of make your little um, templates, you can keep that with your uh, written directions. So this, do you see how this closes? And it just makes this nice, nice little way that the card opens like that. So this is a basic double gatefold. It's great for making with cardstock. So uh, we're gonna start with a full piece of cardstock and we're gonna cut at five and a half. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut another inch for the belly band. So I'll save that and then I'm going to trim this to 10 inches. So I'm gonna take off an inch. Cute little square left over. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna score in from each side at one and a fourth and three and three eighths. Okay, so one and one fourth inch, three and three eighths, not as, um, lovely of dimensions, but it, this looks so pretty. One and a fourth, three and three eighths. Okay, so on the folds that are closest to the middle of the card, those go towards the middle. 
This is actually a great design for a trifold card too. If you didn't do the, that one and a fourth inch score line, this would make a great little um, note card or a trifold type out of a sheet of cardstock. Then you're gonna score the, or in the opposite direction on the one and a fourth inch. We have that. So now you just have to cover with some paper or decorate in some way. So I'm going to use a new package of paper. This is called Country uh, Country Woods. It's this amazing distressed wood paper. I'm going to show you kind of quickly because I'm going to be showing this paper again and again. So there's great wood grain distressed images on both sides to use. And you see it's going to be a favorite. So I've picked out some of the distressed pieces that would kind of go with the misty moonlight. And we're just going to attach those right to our gate folds. Hard to cover up this one that's colored. That's <laughs> so pretty. So these pieces that are on the very front of the double gatefold are five and a fourth by one inch, and then the ones that go on the second um, gatefold are five and a fourth by one and seven eighths. And you need two of those. There's enough space here if you want to double layer and put an, another little solid cardstock layer um, behind to get extra color in there. You can do that as well. It makes the card a little bit thicker, but it's not, it's still mailable. So the gatefold is a really great, um, reason to have a belly band because these cards won't stay closed on their own. There's just, you know, too much folding. It doesn't look bad to send it like that. Um, obviously, we'll have a focal point on there, but the belly band does help, okay? But you don't have to. So the, I'm just like showing you the belly bands, but none of these cards absolutely have to have them. So I'm going to use um, the Country Flower stamp set to finish the um, focal point, and then I'm going to use these new dies. Um, they all come together, these amazing circles. So I already cut this one out here. So these are like, um, like the radiating stitches. These are like a stitched open, I don't know what you would call that. And then these are kind of like little scallops. Um, this is really fun in so many sizes. These don't come together. Um, I'm just using them together. And I'm gonna use the paper to stamp on. So I'm gonna use a different wood grain to make the pail look like it is also up or down? I think I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so there's the pail. There's even a little stamp in here if you want to close that off. There's a little straight line that you can stamp, but we don't need that because we're going to put flowers on it. Actually, I'm going to leave that open because I want to put a word on on the pail and I just, this says sending love, but I just want to use the love. So I'm going to ink it. Just the love. Okay, and I'm going to cut this out with the big cut and boss machine.
And then I've already done the plants right here. And I did those in the pink, so we'll put this together. And then there's some extra dies that will just cut out some leaves. So we're just gonna kind of layer that on the focal point. I'm great. I'm so excited that you guys are, are loving that dimensional idea. Isn't that a terrific? I mean, it's brilliant. I find the little tops to these things everywhere in my house because I use them every day, I think. <laughs> this will definitely help with that. I'm going to tuck that kind of behind here. Like that. Okay, so there's our focal point, and now we just need our belly band. But like I said, if you wanted to, you could just attach this to one side of the card like that. We'll go ahead and make our belly band. Okay, so we're going to start on the front. We're going to overlap the middle make that first crease, make it straight, put it back on. So this one's thicker because of the layers, so you have to definitely have to make it while your, your card is layered. And take it off, make it straight. Put it back on and then glue. <laughs> Roxy's already backing her dimensional. She just did eight sheets. I know, it's going to change your life. It's going to change the your um, your floor. It's going to change the floor of your craft room. I love the blues here. So pretty. Okay, so this is our basic double gatefold made out of cardstock, five and a half by 11, scored one and four, three and three, it's from both sides. This is the piece that's gonna go on the inside, but I'm gonna decorate that later because I wanna keep moving. But let me show you some examples. So here's another one made exactly the same way, whoops, upside down, with the same paper. Um, these little nested essentials are just really great uh, for, for fitting across the front of a card. So that is the belly band. And look how fun. This is, this is going to be my favorite thing with this piece of designer series paper. These flowers just kind of stamped and colored in. It's, it's like everything you like about country uh, kind of decor and flowers. Okay, so that is one example. Okay, here's another one with a belly band. This is the new basic beige color. And this paper is also part of this country suite and it is called country lace and it, it goes really well with the other distressed paper or it's just oh it's so delightfully just simple looks like denim um this is like smoky slate basic beige petal pink and misty moonlight and then there's like a little little more designs of the eyelet designs on the other side. So I used the beige pieces. I used three different designs for uh, the card front. So this one is also a belly band. 
I think this is going to be a great neutral to add to your repertoire. It's like, um, you know, kind of was missing Sahara sand, but this is, this fills a place and is even better because it's, it's very, um, hardly any tone to it. It's just a really great neutral. Very excited about that. Okay. So this is our basic double gatefold. And this one ended up being my favorite when I made these yesterday. So here is an example of where you can change the designer series paper and make it fit the whole space. Okay, so you just measure it. It's not that much um, different. And then you cover the, cover the whole thing. And there's our focal point belly band. This is all ready for Father's Day. My father actually adores planes. Um, so he's going to love that. And this one's for my husband for our main anniversary. I mean, I'm doing really well, guys. I think this needs some embellishments here. Let's put... Let's put some embellishments on there. Then we're going to move on to the diamond double gate fold. These are new. These are smoky slate and gray, gray granite, I think, are the colors. And they kind of go with this um, suite. So I'm kind of interested to see how they look on there. I think I like that. Just put one up there. Yes, Sarah, I love your idea here. Let me let me start that. Um, I do that all the time too. So if you're going to um, be making two cards, it's just as easy if you score it first. Score it at four and a quarter, then turn and cut at five and a half, and then you have two cards already scored and ready to go. Obviously, you can do that in two directions. Thank you for that great tip. Okay. So the next one we're going to make is what I'm calling a diamond double gatefold. And this one's using designer series paper. So this is a piece of uh, five and a fourth by 12. And this is really easy because you're going to score every two inches from each side. So two, four, eight, ten, or you can just do two and four. And then we're going to cut off. The edge. Okay, so I'm going to use this new paper called Frames and Florals. I don't have all the pieces anymore because I've been using them for um, projects that we've already seen. But this is um, a pack. If you didn't see, we made a, a loaded pocket with this paper a couple weeks ago. So one of the, or two, maybe three of the pages of this um, I only have one, and now that I've used it, I've forgotten how it came, but it's all of these um, dies that are, it's paper die cuts that are already die cut on the paper, so you just have to punch them out. All right, so here's my piece of five and a fourth by 12, and we're going to score at two, four, eight, and 10. So that's gonna look like. You kinda of wanna decide what which um, paper you want on the inside. Um, they're both going to show. So you can kind of make those go together if you just take your time when you're scoring. Okay, so double, like just kind of like the other one, but since this is 12 instead of 11, these ends go all the way over. 
I can see my paper's directional, so I'll have to pay attention. Okay, so now what we're gonna do to make this a diamond shape is we're gonna cut these corners off. So we're gonna measure from the top two inches. On the top corners, And then we're going to cut from that mark we just made. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. From the mark we just made to this two inch score line. So I'm just gonna put those on the cutting line of my paper trimmer. And so it basically cuts off a little right triangle. And then we'll turn and do the same thing. There's my mark right here. And then I'm gonna line up the two inch score line. Okay, so this is what we have left. So when you look at the pattern, that's what that's referring to. And then you basically flip these over and you glue them down here in these corners, like that. Now my paper is directional, so these look upside down, but honestly, the front of the card is so stunning, it doesn't really matter. So I wouldn't get too concerned about that. So these just get flipped over and then glued into the outside. So it's outside to, to outside here. Okay, so when you close it, you got this beautiful little diamond shape in the middle. Okay, easy, easy. You can do that a hundred times. So this one um, started at five and a fourth so that we could mount it onto a piece of coordinating cardstock like this. But you wouldn't have to. You could make this five and a half by 12 and then just make the full card. Um, it would be fine. This is going to go on the inside. This is going to go on the outside. Um, the, the difference really being if you do this measurement at five and a half, then you are going to see, you know, the paper all the way around, which is, is kind of cool too. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you this version here where I'm going to put it on a piece of cardstock. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. This paper has like all the greens in it. So you can mix um, mix and match it with so many different greens. Okay, and then the inside. The inside piece ends up being three and three fourths by five to write your message on. Okay, so what looks really great with this um, card is if you have a focal point that's on a square, that's like two and three fourths. I wish I would have not done this in pen. I'm gonna have to try to erase that. <laughs> Use pencil. Um, I just grabbed my pen. So this is a two and three fourths inch square. This is actually one of the stylus shapes that is exactly the right size, but you could use a regular um, square like that. Okay, and again, just like the last card, you can choose to put this on a belly band or you can just attach it to one of the sides. So that's what we're gonna do to do something a little bit different. And so I found one of the ephemera pieces that's actually a square and it just fits right on there. And then one of the smaller stylus shapes actually fits right over that. So we're gonna stamp with this new greeting stamp set. Simply said, and this is going to be a diagonal, so I'm going to stamp it the right way.
You're so funny. I'm reading the comments. Help. How can it get any cuter? You're so sweet. I don't know. I, I was loving all these cards today. Okay. And then we're going to just put adhesive on half. I'm not going to go quite to the center just so I don't mess it up. And then I'm just going to center that in the middle and attach. Okay. That is our diamond double gatefold. I'm liking that. I will probably add some more little, um, what are they called? Embellishments. I will add some embellishments in an inside greeting, but I we've got another card to do, so we're gonna keep moving. Here's another one with the latte <clears throat> paper. I just attached it to the other side. Same, um, same, you know, design features. So again, if you didn't want this to um, kind of arrive like this, then you would just put this diamond shape on a belly band and do it the exact same way that we just, you know, made the belly bands. And it actually, the one inch fits really nicely um, in this little section of that diamond. So it looks really good. Okay. That one's up close too. The colors are just so stunning on that one, aren't they? So if you change, if you change this measurement from two inches to any other, you know, you could make it a deeper cut. It just changes the, the look of the diamond. Okay, so this one, um, I was actually trying to do a different version and I measured at two and three fourths and, and got this diamond shape. And again, just flipped those and put them on the bottom. So you, you, you don't have to stick to that. You know, you can make this, I mean, obviously when you do two inches, it's a right um, a, a nice right triangle so it just fits there but you can see that these you know still mimic each other at, at two and three fourths I think that's what that was let me double check yeah, yes two and three fourths is where I measures for that one and so here's so you can see um, a belly band would go around that really nicely All right, can you handle one more? Okay, so we're gonna move from the diamond double gatefold to what I'm calling an angled double gatefold. If you go to like just um, look up on Pinterest or Google or whatever, and you just put double gatefold, you're gonna get a lot of these versions. Okay, so I'm going to use another new package of paper called Unbounded Beauty. This is a whole suite of products. I'll show you the paper first. And it has all of the new in colors in this paper. And then they added Berry Burst to it. Kind of intensify those pinks and here are the B sides beautiful and so I'm using a piece of this one here for the angle double gatefold now this is very similar to what we just did the difference is that we're going to cut off the corner all the way to um, like the back or the inside of the card. And so my measurement is at four inches, which I meant to write that in. 
where you make that mark. Okay, so let's get this one scored. So you see, once you kind of start these, you can you can make some adapt adaptions to the measurements and get different versions. So two, four, eight, and ten. Or you can just flip this around and go two and four again. Now this time I am going to use a pencil. And we're going to, let's see, this doesn't have a direction to it. So we're going to measure four inches down instead of two on each side. Let me zoom back out. And then instead of cutting to the first score line, let me, let me fold on those so you can see them just a little bit better. cut from the four inch over here to the second score line. So this is still a right triangle because this is four inches, this is four inches. Here's my four inch mark. There's my score line. It is very similar to the one we just did, but the difference is instead of flipping this over and putting it here, which it doesn't fit, you flip it over and you put it here on the inside corner. And it ends up matching your score lines. I think you have to swap them. So let's, let me verify that. Okay, so that's where those go. Flip that back over. So you take that, you flip it, yes, and then you have to put it on the the one opposite, like that. That that's so the score lines will um, line up. If if you did it the other way, then your score line here would be going this way. So let's glue those down. Actually, let's make sure this is coming together. You see how this makes this beautiful. I don't know what shape, it's almost like an X. So this on this one, because of how you cut into that second thing here, you're able to see the inside of the card as well. And then when you put these back on, it almost makes like a, like a zigzag. I'm gonna line that right up on that score line there. That would be like the four inch score line and make sure my point goes all the way to the end here. And then we'll just refold that. See how that looks it's so pretty. I will have um, a future video all about the new in colors and you know putting them together using the new color coach and all that fun stuff. Um, but right off the top, if you've just kind of seen the new in colors, do you have a favorite in color? Does one of them really speak to you? All right, so that's how that opens like that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I called it angled because it's a little bit more of an angle. Kind of looks like an X. Um, I didn't find a specific name for this one. Okay, let's do a little decorating here. And I'll show you the pieces 
for this bundle. This is one of those double bundles. So there's two stamp sets and two um, die sets that go together. So Flowers of Beauty and Unbounded Love, and then this paper, and then there's some <clears throat> embellishments that are part of the suite. So this greeting set's really fun, and I already um, cut this one out of Berry Burst, and I embossed um, the Just For You from this stamp set right here to be our little focal point. And then I already cut out the flowers, but I want to show you how they stamp. This is a great two-step stamping stamp set. Tiny little flowers, so cute. So we're gonna use the berry burst for the outline. And then we'll use petal pink, not petal pink, pretty in pink. Oh, it's gonna take me a while, isn't it? Figure out where this guy goes. And last night, this was, this, I just liked it on the first time. Okay, I think here's the big petal. There we go. They're so pretty. Those are going to be beautiful colors to layer together. Debbie says, Summer Splash and Petunia Pop are the top of our list. Agreed. That purple's gorgeous. And Summer Splash kind of fills the hole where um, Coastal Cabana left. Left a little bit of a hole. It's a, it's a little bit brighter. So let's take some of that and we'll just do it on the inside. Some of our, of the leaves. To kind of go with, so I'm going to stamp off. Once there. And then we'll do another one right there. So here's the filler, the filler of the leaves. So I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper. Which, there we go. Here's one. Just to stamp off because I want this lighter so this is again I'm stamping the summer splash for these leaves So let's put together the rest of this card here. The inside is three and three fourths by five and a fourth. This is all on the PDF. I'm going to put that right there. And here's the larger flower. And I already used the dies. Um, that coordinate with this stamp set and I cut out one of the leaves in there's two different dies so I did one in the glimmer paper that coordinates with the in colors and one in the summer splash
His colors are just so happy. The pink and the summer splash together. It's delightful. Okay, so I'm just figuring out where I want this to attach because it's only going to attach in one little place like that. Again, we could make a belly band for this one. I'm just I'm just showing you the different options. So I'm going to just put adhesive right here on this little corner. And then we'll add some of the new in color embellishments. These are my favorite that they make when they have the little cross hatch on the top. It looks like a little peanut butter cookie with that you make the, with the little fork marks on it. They're so cute. And it has a little bit of shimmer uh, to them. So let's see. Do we want purple? Pink. Green. Let's go ahead and add the summer splash. There's no wrong answer here. Just add a couple of those. I brought in the pretty and pink ribbon, but I almost feel like, like I don't know where to put that. But I just kind of want to use all the things on this card. So let's make a tiny little knot. And then I have two more samples of this angled double gatefold to show you. And then we have made it. We've made it through our three versions of double gatefolds. I hope you've got, this is I, one of the reasons I picked this. Now I use new paper um, to share new paper. But when, um, when you're looking forward to a new catalog and you kind of know you might be getting some new paper. If you've got, you know, a package of paper that needs using up, and I'm talking about, you know, double-sided pattern paper, these last two versions are great because you can get, you know, two cards um, from one 12 by 12 piece. And it, you know, it showcases both sides of the design. So that's always really nice. Um, and it helps use up your paper. I agree, Sandra. <laughs> this is nice. You don't have to decide which one you like best because it showcases them both. You're right. You could. You could make this a pocket. You for, for, for sure could. this. If you glued this down, you could put a little like bookmark in there. Again, this one, if you, if you changed the measurement to five and a fourth, like this last version, then you could put a, a supporting piece of cardstock on the back if you wanted to do that. So there's lots of different options for this card. Love it. I think I had these out to put some, let's go ahead and put a dimensional on there. Okay, you guys have a favorite version or which one are you gonna try? some of these around here like that they're just kind of subtle I like it okay let me close up the ink pads we'll bring all these cards back Florence loves summer splash and pretty and pink together yes it's like um I don't know just it's like a summer it's a summer fun for sure it reminds me a little bit of, you know, in the in the 80s that, you know, we did a lot of like turquoise and pink. Okay, here are the other samples of the angled double gatefold. So this is made with nature's sweetness and I put the gold foiled side on the outside, it's nice and shiny. Deborah's gonna make the last one today. Awesome! 
The tiny knot is so much easier in the bow. Thank you. Yes, I like that. Shelly likes the diamond on the left. Okay, and here is with the Zinnia paper. I don't know if you can see this, the flower in the background there stamped tone on tone. It really looks elegant. Okay, so the last one we did, I called the angled double gatefold. Then we did the diamond gatefold. And we did a basic double gatefold. Where's the one I actually made? Well, I can't find that one. And then we've made a, just a gatefold, just to revisit how that gets put together. Okay, I'm gonna read through some of the comments. Let me know what your favorite of anything is. Favorite in color, favorite gatefold. Um, Jonna, I have done some quilt cards in the past, like just some patterns. I don't know if you follow Julie Heights. She's the chirpy card maker of quilts. All of her cards are quilt cards, and they're amazing. Um, definitely go look at her. Yes, I, um, I, I look for um, patterns that look like quilts, too. Thank you. I'm just reading the comments. Oh, this was so much fun this morning. Hey, Claudia. Hey, Cheryl, thank you so much. Hey, Star. That's my sister's name and she spells it with two R's just like you do. Hey, Kathy and Lisa and hi, Brenda. Hey, Tamara and Judy and Tony and Joan. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you, Gwen. Elena likes the last one. The sentiment on the lavender card, what set is it from? This one? This is a brand new um, sentiment set called Unbounded Love. And it has the dies that you can get um, that have all these beautiful little labels. So if this is the one, oh, the lavender. Ah, the lavender, this isn't lavender. Hello. This is in the online store. Called. I think it just came out in March with the new, um, the new online exclusives. It's called Comforting Thoughts. That's where that was from. This is a great stamp set. This is an online exclusive, so it's in the online store right now. Lisa is in love with Summer Splash right now. I know. Oh, I'm so glad that I wasn't the only one who didn't know the dimensional tip. It seems really obvious once you, um, once you think about it, I mean, like I should have been able to figure that out, but I'm telling you that was, I was so happy to learn that tip. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Judy. All right, Elena would like more Saturday mornings. Well, I will take that under advisement for sure. Um, it would be nice to to mix it up um, as long as everybody can figure out the time zones because I know once we get into a regular routine, it is difficult to, 
to be to change it up. So the next time I'm going to go live, I'm only be able to do it live um, twice this month. But I think it's April 24th. I listed the um, the schedule, and I'm going to try to do that one in the evening. It'll be 7 p.m. my time, Central Time. Can you show us the dimensional trick again? Yes. <laughs> If I can find them, because I've seriously lost that first basic double gatefold card that I made. I don't know where it went, which doesn't make sense because it was it was right here. Here's the dimensional trick. You just put to, you need like two um, pieces of packing tape, and you put it right over the top of your dimensionals and so it makes all the little backing pieces stick um, together so you can just open that up and pull out your dimensionals and then close it back up till you're ready to use it again. Um, Patrizia, so this is a um, 3D printed, I think it's called a mini adhesive caddy and I'm offering them as incentives to my um, my butterfly friends team this month they're going to try to better their best but it holds like one of everything and um, I'll post in the link when I finish this video where I got this from because you can get one too it's the country hive is the name of the company here's my so it fits just like one of each of all your basics and then the the um, glue dots slide out of that little hole like that and you can put your dimensionals here it's pretty fun all right you guys I'm gonna go back and read all these comments please um, share more and um, if you make one of these, come show us what you made in our Facebook group, Robin's Really Super Stampers, and we would love to um, ooh and ah over your creations. So um, download the PDF and, and get creating, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being with me and for all your lovely comments, and I'll see you.